Today I'm finally bringing you the last episode of our 1900 house remodel renovation process thing. It's been a while since I uploaded this because the outside was taking a couple months to finally get completely finished just because some crews couldn't come for a while. A lot of you have been excited to see the before and the after of this house. So in this video we're going to backtrack to the summer of 2020 and go from there. If you're new here, my name is Janine. This is my channel, The Mennonite Mom. We've been in the middle of house renovating a 1900 farmhouse. Starting in the year 2020, we did a lot to the outside and also a fair amount to the inside, especially the kitchen, totally transformed the kitchen. I have videos and all that. I'll link the playlist up here. I'm excited to share with you the outside of the house before and after, so let's jump right into it. This house on the exterior was in dire need of repairs. The paint was peeling drastically. My husband, Nolan, was trying to do it all himself, and he puts long hours in at his work, probably 60 plus hours a week. And so to come home and then try to work at it in the evenings or on weekends, it was just exhausting. And while it was possible, it was such a slow process over the years, we just weren't getting anywhere. However, on the west side of the house, he had taken off a lot of the boards off the house and insulated from the outside simply because the studs were so narrow we couldn't blow insulation in. And so um, our house was constantly freezing, pipes were freezing, it, was, it had no insulation. And the wind here usually comes from the west, so he got most of that side insulated, which helped tremendously in the house. And then he went and planed those boards and put them back up. That was over the process of a few years. That was a lot of work that he got done, but we never got the whole house completed. It was just painstakingly slow. So we decided that we were gonna take out a loan to just get the whole thing done and preserve it because the weather was wearing it down. So we contacted an Amish painter and he said he could come later that fall. And so in the meanwhile, Nolan began to work at some of the things we need to get done. Here in the kitchen, we were replacing some windows, making them smaller so that we could get the cabinets in. Um, we also had to replace some other windows. So Nolan wanted to get all that finished and trimmed out um, before the painter comes so that the outside was ready to be prepped. What are you building? A seesaw. A seesaw. Okay, it looks like all these tools need cleaned up here soon, huh? So that summer, Nolan was working at trying to get everything wrapped up before the painter came. And we also decided to start with the sidewalk because my brother-in-law was available earlier that year and he was gonna be getting busy later. Um, and so they came in and we completely tore off that ugly old lean-to roof, which was hideous, it was just kind of like a drive-in porch, ripped up the cement, took down the front steps or whatever, and completely redid it. And I have a complete video on that if you wanna see it. But here's a little bit of how that looked before and after. started getting away from us and there ended up being so much more that needed done and rotting wood up in the trims, up in the rafters, wherever all. So Nolan talked to the painter and he had a brother or brother-in-law that was good with wood and they came together and worked together at actually first replacing all the bad parts, the rotted wood. They did it all. It was really, really nice and they did really good work. Also, Nolan had rebuilt all the headers for the window on the outside to replicate the old style. It was really, really pretty and we wanted to preserve that. So we replicated that. We even had someone help us make a few of the design blocks and Nolan didn't have enough time to get them all up. And so he also went ahead and got all the headers and the windows trimmed out except for one. There's still one that needs to be finished. I should mention before they started painting, um, because this house was, has lead paint on the outside, we needed to have someone that was lead certified to come in and scrape it. 
So the scraping took place first and then the painter came and they started redoing everything and painting. They even went up to the chimneys, repointed the chimneys I believe because some of them were getting in pretty rough shape. Another thing the painter did was he recoated the roof with like an aluminum coating that you put on these old roofs. The sad thing was it rained soon after and kind of washed some of the aluminum off, not the coating itself. But when you look at the roof, there's some sections that are lighter than others. We might have to redo that. And we actually have to also put that goopy stuff on top of the porch roof. We still haven't done that, but that's one of those small things that still needs to be done. about all your memories looking at the sky wondering why this feels like home like a tennessee river in the morning takes your breath without a warning feels like home like smoke rising up from the mountains all the beauty surrounds feels like home like elvis and dolly singing a melody that's bringing you home Cause it feels like home Feels like home Really? Are you excited? Yeah Mom, look, look, Mom What? Look at the butterfly way up there Oh yeah Feels like home Have you ever been driving down the highway Looking at the sunset, it'll make you forget All the troubles every day can bring Have you ever been staring up at the starlight Getting pretty close to midnight Sounds just like the wind singing your name Feels like home Like a Tennessee Like home, like smoke rising up from the mountains, all the beauty stuff. Feels like home, like Elvis and Dolly singing a melody that's bringing you home. Cause it feels like home, feels like home, feels like home. Now they're finally wrapping up, um, finishing painting the house, and then doing all the trim in white. Since I picked an off-white for the house, you know, I kept looking at it, I'm like, did I make the right decision? Like, it almost looks white, can you even see a contrast? But once they started painting, like, the bright white onto the trim is just beautiful. I love it. And so now that's starting to happen. Um, the one guy's going around starting to paint the trim now, so it's just coming together. Love it. Can't wait till they're done. All right, we're in front of the house. Check out my navy doors. <laughs> I really like the main one, but I'm trying to decide if it was stupid to do two of them. The house is really coming together. These two, win these two windows are white. Those still need to be painted in the gable, but once that's all white, see how much that pops? I love that. And the white over there, awesome. When this was all finished, when the roof was recoated, the whole house painted, it was just beautiful it just transformed our place and instead of looking like we live in a rundown falling apart house it looks now like we live in a beautiful old restored farmhouse however we still weren't finished so my brother-in-law also came back during this time and put concrete on the wraparound porch 
which was all cracked and falling apart. The gutter guys are here. I'm so excited. I even haven't been out of the house yet, but they're putting gutter on the roof, which I'm super thrilled about. Every time it rains, it just splatters up our house. So once the gutter's up, I get to wash off the house and then tackle that front porch patio with the paint on it. That still is not remedied. Are they done? What in the world? Do you think they left? Yeah. Oh. Huh. I get to scare my touch. Is it done? Hey! Yay! Look at that! We have gutter! I can hardly believe it. They're all finished. It's like noon. I was gonna come out once I felt better and had myself put together a bit and video them putting the spouting on, but it's all finished. So, sorry guys. Anyway, so everything's done. Now we get to clean up this place. Um, the last thing we're waiting for yet on the outside of the house is the wooden pillars. They said it'll hopefully be done in four to six weeks. And that was like two weeks ago, maybe. I forgot to mention, along with the pillars, we're putting like a little overhang over this door with porch pillars, so it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> this was the part that took a while because they had multiple things come up and it was stretched out over a couple of months, I believe, till it ever got finished, so that's why my video is so much later. Whoop, whoop! We got pretty pillars! <laughs> whoop! Whoop, whoop! Wow! nice oh my word i left to get some things in town came back and it's pretty much finished it looks amazing <laughs> so they're pretty much finished on that porch and they're gonna do a little overhang on this one they need to come back later and finish the porch ceiling and then we're gonna put like wood up in the gables the gables the peaks i don't know what you call them but anyway this is beautiful a long project but it is so much fun to drive in the lane and just see our house in comparison to what it looked before um, it's still not completely finished 
there is a window in the front here that still needs framed out um, and then also the porch roof they were waiting to paint that until the beams were put up and then we will paint after so when the electricians were here they put lights in there so that's really cool there's lights over the porch all around where there wasn't before then they put a new ceiling on which that's new and that has primer on and then on the other side of the pillars is still the old wood that's been scraped but hasn't been painted yet so that's just a few minor things that need done there's still a fair amount on our to-do list so the house is pretty much complete definitely complete enough to show you all what it looks like but it still needs a few more touches I hope you enjoyed this transformation. Make sure to go check out the other videos if you'd like to see um, some of the stuff that was going on in the interior and just various things and the stress and the happiness and everything through it all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.